r slash ask reddit what brands or companies are actually evil chiquita banana company have allegedly been involved in the deaths of trade unionists and threats to their families weren't they responsible for overthrowing the government of honduras and replacing the government with a dictatorship hence the term banana republic Lux Xotica. This is one company that runs a monopoly on 80% of glasses in the USA. They also own the eyeglasses stores and the insurance companies and eye doctor chains have wondered why glass and a bit of plastic costs as much as a smartphone? Not only do they own the major brands, they own the optical stores that sell those brands. A few products are made in Europe but most are made in China. I read that their premium glasses cost $15 to make and retail for $400. At one point they refused to stock Oakley. Oakley went bankrupt. Then they bought it. Pure evil. A lot of brands tout that they are made in Italy, but only a fraction of the work has to be done in Italy for them to claim that. So basically everything is made in China but the screws and they assemble it in Italy. Purdue Pharmaceuticals Singler-handedly started the opioid epidemic by marketing OxyContin as non-addictive and helpful. Edited for spelling. As a graduate from Purdue University, I do want to mention that the university has nothing to do with the company. They both just happen to be founded by guys with the last name of Purdue. I personally figured this was the case. Purdue Pharmaceuticals is a corporation so not related to the university, but can see how others may immediately make that association. I commend your defense of and pride for your alma mater. Unilever. One of their plants leaked mercury in a forest. Many workers suffered kidney problems. They shut down the plant and moved on while locals are still suffering from the ill effects of mercury dumping. Edit. Spelling. Edit 2. More spellings and the case was Kadekan or mercury poisoning in India. It happened in 2001 and was finally settled in 2016. Also, thank you for the award. Colon. That really sucks. Because Unilever owns ducking everything. And Nestle owned the rest. I've heard bad things about Susan G. Komen. I saw a change collection jar for them recently at a checkout lane. There were stickers on it that spelled out coins for a cure. But someone had peeled off the eye. I wish I could high five whoever did that. Yep, but make sure to use your elbows. The National Football League sent a crooked doctor to testify before Congress and lie about football turning players' brains into mush. They destroyed the career of the researcher who discovered it. They threatened lawsuits against journals that published the research. They actively misled players about the danger. Yes, everybody knew you could get a concussion playing football. But the league led players to believe it could be managed like any injury. Just get a couple weeks rest and it will heal. The league knew everyone causes permanent damage that never heals and lied to players about it. When ESPN co-produced a documentary about all this with PBS Frontline, the league forced them to disavow it and take their name off it or risk losing coverage access. Anyone know? Is this the premise of concussion with Will Smith? Yes. Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Are they the same company? So duck cause they own all the big venues as well. 10 years ago got great seats to every show. Now this ducking waiting room is BS. Remember, Ticketmaster's bullshit is all a way to hide the real ticket prices both from fans who like to get sucked in thinking they have a chance for a reasonable price and from artists who get to think they're keeping prices low for their fans while still getting paid what they want. Ticketmaster is the face of evil. But it's all just the hey look over here. This is the evil thing to pay attention to. Which the rest of the live concert industry hides behind and pretends they're all innocent in this. Nestle. The seer has stated water isn't a human right and has lobbied to push legislature to make that a reality. Thankfully to no success yet. They literally killed babies with their formula bullshit in Africa. Shit you're right I forgot about that. They're ducking terrible. College board. And paying for electronically sending your SAS scores to each college are like $20 when you can do it for free. How can you do it free? Wells Fargo. This needs to be higher. I can't believe anyone is still doing business with Wells Fargo. What did they do? Comcast. And all of the other telecommunication companies. Top 5 evil companies honestly. I don't think the US is aware how much we hold ourselves back pretending telecommunications infrastructure is a remotely fair market. 
Telecom is the perfect example of the antitrust workaround. There is no proper anti-collusion antitrust protections in the US. Nestle. Nestle are responsible for the deaths of thousands of African babies. It was a lengthy process meticulously engineered and designed to rid the African mothers of their money by getting their babies dependent on the better quality synthesized milks. Over time, the company ramped the prices up until not only the bank accounts were dry, but so were the breasts. Duck you. Nestle. Edit. Spelling. Oh yes. The company whose CEO didn't consider access to water to be a human right. I actively avoid Nestle and feel horrible when I accidentally buy one of their many products. R slash Duck Nestle. Autism Speaks. Edit. Holy Christ this comment blew up fast. Why? Helpful infographic. HTTPS. M. Imga. Com VPZLBHC also. This nightmare of an ad. HTTPS. M. YouTube. Com watch? V equals 9 uglenbach for credit. U slash dragon feather comes from his comment on another place in the post. Nike. Look up I was the fastest girl in America until so and so she took part in a Nike program like many others and it did not end well for her edit. The YT video is called I was the fastest girl in America until I joined Nike edit 2. This post was on a YouTube video. I saw that video. It's a horrible thing that happened to her. Ike. I'm too lazy go ray watch it. But I think she had to basically starve herself or something. So she lost a lot of weight to the point it was unhealthy. Again I don't 100% remember. Nestle. For obvious reasons. Union carbide. One night, a pesticide plant in India leaked methyl isocyanate on the city of Bhopal. 500. 000 were exposed. 16. 000 died and 40, 000 were permanently disfigured or disabled. They spent years trying to cover it up and get out of any responsibility. My friend Mo was poisoned in utero by that when his parents were visiting their parents in India. His mom died of cancer the year he graduated, and he died of complications from his various disabilities and birth defects three years ago. He had one of the most brilliant minds and a fantastic sense of humor. Duck Union Carbide. Edit. Goddamn it. I'll fix the syntax. Graduated from cancer. Y'all told the same joke 23 times. The pyramid schemes. I am a business owner you should've taken my job off and now you're locked in because corona and no money ha he. R slash antimum. Hey boss babes. Basically any fast fashion brand. H&M. F21 etc. Fashion companies work sweatshops in US territories like Saipan. So they can put made in USA on the labels. But the territories don't follow US labor laws. Then they import workers from places like Indonesia and Malaysia. I can't remember the last time I saw clothing labeled made in USA. Ducking banana companies. Seriously look up their history they would topple entire governments just to be able to pay workers like garbage and sell the bananas to the states. Amway. They're a MLM company that preys on the ignorance of poor people. The DeVos family became billionaires of what is essentially a pyramid scheme. Like, as in the same family that Betsy DeVos belongs to, the US Secretary of Education who's so stupid, it's hard to believe she was chosen for her position. Doofenshmirtz Evil Inc. To be fair, he had a hard life. Raised by ocelots. D beers and their blood diamond. Child slavery cartel. Diamonds aren't even rare. They just keep a hold on the supply to make us think so. I'm creating a competing company selling certified blood diamonds. Four children die in the process of bringing the diamond to you. Guaranteed. This one isn't talked a lot but companies that make insulin. Some countries have free healthcare or you can buy it for really cheap prices but what is vital for some people to literally not die or become permanently disabled or go into a coma costs around $4 to make. And it's sold for $178 per vial in America. Like. I'd get if you even sell it for $20 or hell, even $50, but this is just insane. It's just monopoly. There are only 3 companies in the world that produce it which means they can set any price they want and people will still buy it bc we're using your need for health to make money so you'll buy it whatever the cost. Edit. Whoa. Thanks for the awards. Yes x1000. My wife is a diabetic and has done some research about the companies. 
they avoid having the drug go generic by changing one tiny thing and say it's a new formula. We haven't paid $178 but we did have to pay $145 every 10 days. And this was on Medicare. After you pay a certain amount, the donut hole, you are classified differently and then the price was $28 for the same effing stuff. This comment degenerated fast. Uts, they're responsible for certifying lots of cocoa farms, especially in Ivory Coast, that abuse West African children in hazardous, grueling labor and let farms continue in nationally protected forests. They put the certified label on imported chocolate to your country when the certified chocolate actually did use child labor swept under the rug. Edit, Uts certified not Uts snacks. Since there seems to be confusion, this is not the same as Uts quality foods, the snack foods company. HTTPS colon slash slash Uts. Org better business hub marketing sustainable products Uts what's in a name. Thank god it have duckin cried. Uts is my favorite snack brand. Facebook. I stopped using Facebook over 5 years ago but never actually deleted my account. I tried doing so a few months ago and they want a government issued it passport or driver's license. In order to unlock my account and delete it, I work in insurance. I know firsthand how much info I can pull off people with just a driver's license number and dob. There's no way I'm giving that to Mark Zuckerberg. I deactivated my account 8 years ago and never looked back. College board. Non-profit my ass. $35 shipping fee to send my SAT score to colleges when it's sent online? Why does it cost $50 to take and SAT? Why am I paying $200 for an AP exam? Duck that shit. Straight up a monopoly running colleges in America. The best part about non-profits is that there is no cap on pay for executives. So the executive can make 20 million a year and it still be a non-profit. Nestle. They said that water isn't a human right. He said thinking water is a human right is extreme. DuPont. Knowingly poisoned the entire US with a chemical that stays in your body forever and causes health issues and birth defects. There's a whole movie about it called Dark Waters. I believe they're still fighting in court over it since it happened quite a while ago. It's worse than that. DuPont poisoned land and watersheds all over the US then essentially purposely bankrupted themselves so they could legally divest all the bad companies and lawsuits fines into spin-off companies with no assets so they couldn't afford to sue the cleanup remediation. The good parts they sold to Dow. Never mind all that imbued business. Vera Bradley. Hello Sweatsharp. Their factories are funneled full of refugees from Burnamana, Guatemala, Sierra Leone. They are drastically underpaid, obviously, and stuck in these huge yet cramped sweatshops. Little sweatshops. My boyfriend when I was in my 20s, he worked in factories through manpower or some such staffing agency. They placed him there for a few months. He learned that they keep the guards on short term assignments, probably so they can't get enough evidence to turn them in. It was ducked. He said they gave the workers these paper feeling pajama things and slip on cheap sandals. They weren't allowed to bring anything into the sweatshop. Not a bag or a phone. Not a lunchbox. They couldn't bring cell phones into the entire facility. My boyfriend was also held to the cell phone rule. He would have to call me from the parking lot before he went in. Because even he wasn't allowed to bring his phone into the building. He wasn't allowed to bring a lunchbox either. It was bizarre. The folks were worked to near torture conditions. Like not being able to use the restroom. Not being able to leave the building during a shift. He said they would work for undetermined length shifts. He wasn't ever given much information about production. About internal affairs. He was just told to watch these crowded rooms. He was supposed to make sure people weren't talking to each other. They weren't allowed to take breaks. It is seriously ducked. And this modern wage slavery happens in the United States. This is why I stopped buying their bags. When they moved from their USA plant, I was afraid this exact thing would happen. I have bought a couple of secondhand bags from thrift stores but reading this it makes me want to toss them too. Peta. When I was first vegetarian I found Peta thinking Peta helped animals. After doing research I realized if Peta were to see any animal the first thing they will think about is killing it. Peta is the autism speaks of animal rights activism. This is the most accurate description of Peto I've ever read. 
pop companies. What they put those women and men through can be cruel and excessive. Oftentimes taking their profits and leaving them with debt edit. Thanks for the awards etc. This is my highest upvoted ever. J-pop idols not being allowed to have significant others is incredibly disturbing. Yeah really same in K-pop too. Although I am not familiar with J-pop. K-pop sometimes they earn the right to do so. Diet water companies. MLM companies. Diet water weight. If you want less calories. Try diet water zero light. It only has 60 calories. It's controversial but if you look into Peter on YouTube you will see stuff like the time they killed a chihuahua who had an owner or hair of Peter's animal shelter. Yep, that shelter with an 80% kill rate. Exxon paid any scientist who wrote a disinformation paper on climate change. It worked. This continues to floor me. I actually know people in real life who insist the 97% of scientists who believe in climate change are being paid off. Not the other way around. That's just amazingly stupid. The tech companies that build in obsolescence in their products should duck right off. Switching parts from metal to plastic. Lowering the life expectancy. But keeping prices the same. Nah, raising the prices. The Bluth Company. Oh come on. It was just some light treason. Lando Lakes. It's a farmer's coot that's supposed to help members. But instead of using many ingredients from their members. They instead, for example, are cutting down jungles to produce palm oil to make fake butter from. It tastes terrible, and it's even worse for the environment. But they have a Native American in their logo. Goop. They honestly seem more stupid than evil. But I agree that they are unethical. Semper Energy Sockel Gas. Responsible for poisoning thousands of people in California for months with methane, benzene, and uranium in the largest industrial gas leak in history, and got away with it because they had already bribed the last governor, Jerry Brown, with millions in cash campaign donations, and by hiring his sister Kathleen Brown on their board of directors, the Aliso Canyon gas field is less than half a mile from an elementary school, sometimes even now gas leaks, and it smells like propane outside the school, https colon slash slash www Com News releases Governor's sister Kathleen Brown makes more than $1 million from Sempra board work and stands to make more as regulators favor company and resume injections at Aliso Canyon Gas Reserve reports consumer watchdog 300,497,682. HTML HTTPS. WWW. Sempra. Com Investors Governance Board of Directors. WWW. Daily News. Com the 30th of August 2018 in Gov Jerry Brown's waning days in office residents demand closure of Sockle Gas Aliso Canyon Natural Gas Storage Facility HTTPS www desmog blog com the 18th of december 2018 big oil jerry brown lucy jakovich lobby california philip 66 https colon slash slash www sandagaunion tribune com news watchdog sd me sempra report 20 million 170 thousand 801 story html https abc7 Com report claims Brown favors energy company after Aliso Canyon reopening slash 2,269,713 slash HTTPS. WWW. Latimes. Com business Laffy consumer watchdog Brown 20,160,812 snap story. HTML. Charming because they are cutting down Canada's boreal forest and putting several species at risk of extension. Also because their ads make everyone unaffordable. Disney has stolen content from smaller creators. The Simba vs. Kimba thing. Specifically because they knew that said smaller creators wouldn't be able to fight the legal battle. TikTok. It has an algorithm that favors sexual videos. Even when probably half of its audience is under 15. So pretty much the app promotes sexual and inappropriate content to kids. Equifax. No reason they should still be trusted with personal information or credit anymore. AIG. Price fixed for profit insurance against your health. Frankly I could write a list because I believe most companies listed on the stock market are dissociated from their own leadership goals and abuse the entire economy. Capitalism has run amok. 
I don't disavow currency but just short of it. All markets need a lot better regulation. Not a company, but Scientology. And Tom Cruise. That guy is scary and evil. Sweetums. Towing companies. This should be higher. Everyone has a shitty tow company story. They prey on poor people. I had my car towed from the mechanic because the mechanic went under and couldn't pay their rent. They wanted 1k to get my non-working car out and 50 for me to get my stuff out of it. Monsanto. Pharmaceutical company Richardson Merrill. Doctor. Frances Kelsey worked for the FDA in 1960 and her steadfast efforts averted a national health crisis in the US. Even while Merrill's drug thalidomide was being actively pulled from European markets due to widespread nerve damage and tens of thousands of birth defects, Merrill continued to pressure Dr. Kelsey and the FDA to get it approved for the US market for several months thereafter. There's an incredible TED Ed video about this. Edit. True that today it is used as an effective, albeit hugely expensive, immunomodulator in combination with steroidal anti-inflammatories for cancer treatment. But the tragedy is that in the 1950s it was heavily marketed as a sleep aid and for the treatment of nausea symptoms, in particular to pregnant women. The truly evil part of the story is despite the fact that the drug was discovered to directly cause birth defects. Merrill was still pushing for the FDA clearance to market and distribute to US patients for the same treatment in target patient populations. Devacaril. Nestle. They want to corner the world market on water. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Snopes. Com fact check Nestle sea water not human right. I really just want to support fewer and fewer horrible companies so drop those names. Big chicken companies, like Tyson and Purdue, who duck over their farmers, causing them to continuously be in debt allowing the company to keep a thumb on them. Also mistreatment of the chickens themselves. Just watched Super Size Me too, and it has opened my mind even more to this reality. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.